Hi all, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will see how we can take a snapshot backup for running volume and that snapshot would be taking right and how we can the, use that snapshot to create a new volume to any other new EC2 servers, okay, for Windows. Okay, let's see how we do that. For that, we should be having a running EC2 instance with Windows platform and we'll be creating some data there. Okay, let, let's do. So we have a Windows server running and uh, yet two drives are there. What I'll do is you will take a snapshot for this drive, which is a new volume D drive will take a snapshot because root volume, <coughs> If you are taking, it will come up with the operating system, all those things. So that is not required. So we'll take a new volume, so which is D drive. So here to identify that we are getting the same volume in the like a restore of this particular snapshot. So we'll create one file here. So that file is a text file. So I'll name it as test. This file name I'm naming it as a test. This I'll write the content into this. So this is demo for snapshot restore. Okay, now first for that, we will be taking a snapshot backup. Later, we will restore the snapshot as a volume. Okay, now I'm just storing it. Save everything, just close everything. And if you go to AWS console, so here is my Windows server is running state. And left side, if you go to EBS, there is a snapshots. <clears throat> okay, currently, if you see, there are no snapshots are available in this particular region. And I'll take this new volume as a snapshot. So take, go here, create snapshot. Select your volume, go to actions, create snapshot. Here, name your snapshot new volume snapshot that's it just create snapshot now if you see the snapshot would be created and go to snapshots you'll be finding one snapshot creation is in progress snapshot status is in pending <clears throat> progress unavailable so only six percentage is completed So meanwhile, I'll pass my video and we'll resume once this snapshot is completes. Okay, so if you see my snapshot status is completed and progress, it is 100% it is available. Okay, now what we'll do is I will delete all the volumes means first I'll terminate my EC2 server. So actually there are, there are two, sorry, not this one. This is a, Windows EC2 server. Here, if you see this PC, there are two volumes. So one volume we externally added, and another volume came by default. So now I'll delete the server, the whole server I'll delete. So just go here, instances, terminate the server. Okay, server is getting terminated. And if you go to the EBS, the volumes you can see, okay. Server is terminated. Just close the RDP. So by default, the default volume will be deleted. Okay, let's terminate it. Now let's go to volumes. See, the default volume is deleted by default because the volume was added with this particular uh, EBS when the EC2 instance was created. So delete on termination would be enabled for that by default. And volume which we attach like uh, in additionally to the running instance, it will not be deleted automatically. We have to delete it. 
go here delete volume see we deleted all the volumes and also we deleted the ec2 instance okay now we have a snapshot so we have only snapshot we have we will use this snapshot to create a volume we will not be using a creation any new volume to the running instance or creation the new instance so we will use this snapshot for creating a new volume okay so for that go to instances create a new instance so i'll name this one as snapshot restore so it's windows here key pair i'll choose a key pair and instance type the same free tier eligible instance type that i'm choosing and networking select the default things and security group so this is a windows server so rdp protocol that i'm choosing and so in the storage section so in the configure storage section if you go we can add new volume so go to advanced okay click on add new volume here so this is a volume so how much size of volume that you wanted to create so all those things will come here but we are not creating the volume here we'll be like restoring from the snapshot or we'll be creating the volume from the snapshot so for that so this is the device name and snapshot that which we created the snapshot new volume snapshot is a name that we have provided while creation of the snapshot just choose that so by default so that is a 30 gb of capacity right so minimum you have to provide at least 30 gb to create a new volume using the snapshot you can also like a create 40 gb also you can create but if you see 20 gb you cannot create because whatever the snapshot size it should meet that requirement so i'll create with 30 gb only so that's it so here you can enable when you are uh, deleting your server whether this volume should be deleted or it should be retained so you can choose option here i'll leave like that so and create instance you are creating the instance <clears throat> view all instances okay the server creation is in progress i'll just pass my video and i'll be back once the server is created okay so if you see my server is created the snapshot restore is the name that i have given for the server and now if i log into this server so i'll just copy the ip address and i'll take password username and password i'll take so go to rdp login provide username provide password as well and this once you log into the server now let's see whether the two volumes are mounted or how it is so all those things you can see the number of volumes are connected with our server and go to this pc here see we attached the snapshot as a volume but still we are not able to see here so which means the volume is attached you can go and see in the volumes also there are two volumes which is 30 gb 30 gb have two volumes are created but both are in use both are in use if you notice both are in use so these are root volume so slash dev slash sda1 is a root volume and the xvdb so this is the volume which we like created means it is retrieved from snapshot so if you go to here but we are able to see only one volume so to make it available or make mount here just go here go to control panel
system and security, create and format hard disk partitions. Here, see, this is this is in offline. One disk is in online, another disk is in offline. So just right click online. That's it. You're not required to do initialization, not required to format. If you format this volume again, the data which is available in this particular volume will also be deleted. Make sure you are not formatting the volume. And now you can see the volume is listed here. And if you just click on this, the file which we stored there, the test file was stored there, right? Before in the previous instance, which we attached, there we created this file, the same volume we can able to connect to this particular EC2 instance by using the snapshot. So that's it about this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe to my channel for more informative videos.